Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Monday. All right, guys. So we don't have hot messy today because Jason is out of town, but what we do have is all of the videos. We're going to have somebody who does hot messy with me on Friday. And then we also have somebody doing banner pump rules with me, the recap for banner pump rules in the valley on Wednesday. So we do have other things. Right now we are still in a uh, transition. Jason is headed to Charleston. It's a lot of back and forth right now, you guys, and I apologize, but I promise going into May, we will be back in the normal programming. It's just a lot right now, but I apologize. I am apologizing and I am saying it will be back to normal. I love you guys. I say, if you haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and let's jump right in. All right, guys. So we have to get into the Tom Shorts of it all because thank you to Reality Blurb. Tom Shorts claims the upcoming season 11 reunion of Vanderpump Rules was both uncomfortable and raw. Now, weeks after filming the reunion, Tom Shorts reflected on the cast battles as he offered an update on his strained relationship with Ariana Maddox, shared the regrets that he has about his romance with Joe Wimberg, and dished on his new girlfriend, Sophia Scoro. There was a lot of love, but it was raw, and people did not hold back. It was uncomfortable, but just with heartfelt, just raw emotion flowing the entire time, and a lot of tears. Everybody cried at least once. I cried like three times. And this is what he revealed during an April 10th interview with Access Hollywood, adding that he exited the taping feeling sad about where the group left things, citing Lala's drama with both Ariana and Katie Maloney. As for where he stands with the cast, Tom Schwartz said, I'm on pretty good terms with everybody except Ariana. That's a work in progress. Now, looking back at season 11, Tom Schwartz confirmed he had several regrets. I wish I would have maybe had a stronger voice. I did not thrive under pressure, but I think I'm probably a better, stronger person because of it. Now, as Vanderpump Rules fans may know, Tom Schwartz's father and brother were in the hospital and his other brother dealt with his cancer diagnosis amid production, which made the season particularly challenging. Tom Schwartz also wished he had communicated better with Joe when it came to the reason that he pulled away. For a while there, it really felt right. I don't know, it was the situation, but I think that I had my guard up a little bit coming out of a 13-year relationship and still feeling you know, the real trauma and reeling from that real trauma of going back and forth across the country, all of a sudden being kind of like the patriarch of my family and dealing with all of these medical emergencies and the unrelenting financial pressure of shorts and sandies. I just didn't feel like I was in a good place to be in a relationship. And I communicated that. But at times, I will acknowledge that it got blurred because it felt right. And we did have fun together. Now, these days, Tom Short said that he and Joe talk here and there and that he always is rooting for her, although they are currently dating other people. I'm happy. It's kind of a new and exciting situation. I kind of feel at peace for the first time in a long time, and it's been really pleasant. Now, Tom Shorts gushed of his new romance, saying she's a marketing manager and strategist, and she also has a vintage clothing store. And just she's really fucking cool. She, she's so charismatic and clever and like unconventionally funny. She's way cooler than me, and she's just a badass human being. But according to Tom Shorts, he's hopeful that Sophia will be featured on Vanderpump Rules Season 12 if there is one. I would love if she filmed. Of course, I'll give her all of the disclaimers because it can be intense. If you've never done television before, having your life, your emotions put on display for others to judge, that can be terrifying. And it's not for everyone. When you're in the trenches, it's like gut-wrenching and soul-sucking, and it's really hard to relive. But while only time will tell whether Sophia joins the series, she has met the cast. She's met a lot of them. She met Jax, Brittany, Tom, Sheena. She's met some of them, but she also gets along great with everyone. That's like one of my favorite things about her. I introduce her to people. She's just so genuine and instantly makes connections with people. She's very good in that way. Now, although he and his ex, Katie, suffered a falling out after their split due to his Mexico kiss with Raquel, Short said that they are far better now. I think it's a delightful 
love hate dynamic, but it's nice. I feel like we have a playful little banner and there's no illusions of us getting back together. There are clearly defined boundaries. So it makes it easy to navigate after the divorce. It was easy or it was even easy for Tom shorts to get past Katie hooking up with his best friend, Max. Although he did admit that it was quite the plot twist. It did strike me as weird, but it felt inconsequential. And honestly, I was so happy to be on good terms with Katie again. I didn't want to bust her balls too much. Hmm. He also said, Max apologized right away. We're cool. Katie didn't apologize. She was like, I did it. So deal with it, bitch. Now, years after Tom Shorts and Katie announced their split, Jax and Brittany confirmed their separation. And while part of Tom Shorts hopes they can reconcile another part of him in this divorce, calling him a divorce champion, which I think that that's a little rough he said it's not that sad to me i think it's much sadder when people stay together who are unhappy he explained noting that jackson britney's split was a long time coming part of me thinks that they are at the point of no return as jackson britney's relationship issues continue to play out on the valley tom shorts said he's happily tuning in i love the valley because i know all of those people i hang out with all of those people they're my friends so it's yummy to watch it's salacious i think it's juicy and wonderful and i can't wait to watch more but also during an interview tom shorts declared that he is over scandal just hearing that word it's slightly triggering a but b it gives me brain rot it's like a bloom of brain frog uh, fog everyone's over it i hope that everyone understands that luckily i think the second half of the season is less that there's some fun lighthearted stuff mm. all right well speaking of which i have to play a video for you guys thank you to the connection queen x did you guys know joe from vanderpump rules her real name was kaylee here we go thank you to drunk drunk for bringing this to all of the bravo versus attention here's a little tea about joe so somebody wrote, okay, so just a little tea. I honestly do feel bad for her right now and the way production dangled her in front of that cast like chum, but an ex of mine from the mid 2010 suddenly began getting weekly haircuts from her in Milwaukee. So naturally she became a person of interest. He ended up cheating on me with Joseph, real name Kaylee. You know I had to look into this a little bit more. So I typed in Kaylee Wenberg and this popped up. We broke up and then they moved to LA together to live out some bizarre spiritual journey, similar to what Schwartz said about them going on a journey. I haven't revisited this stuff emotionally for so long, but Vanderpump is my favorite show. And now she's on it? Rude. What do you guys think about Joe and Rachel both changing their names? Let me know. Thank you. Um, it's not just Joe and Rachel. It's Joe, Rachel, and Jason, a.k.a. Jax Taylor. I mean... I have questions to which I need answers. Guys, I want you to pop off. If you have not already, go ahead, pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. This is some shit, and this is hitting the exact same way that I thought it would. But being on the outside in, or the outside looking in, I'm like, okay, this is some shit. And Robin Dixon got fired from the Real Housewives of Potomac and announced her exit. Like, happy fucking Monday, everyone. Guys, pop off. If you haven't already, go ahead. Let us know what you think. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. I'm back on at least putting up the polls this week. So go to the community tab and jump in the polls. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Love you guys.